to your weekly astrology. Now this week is very important for you. A lot of astrologers are going on, not much going on in February, but in fact it's a relief to us all because we don't have all those eclipses and retrogrades and oh, all those things that are dragging us into the past and making us delve into our shadows. Having said that, this is an extremely important week for you because we have Uranus, which has been in yours, our sign, for seven years, doing a final whoosh, hurrah, by meeting up with our ruler, Mars. Now, this is big news. Have you noticed over the past seven years that life has been chaotic, unpredictable, all sorts of strange changes have happened out of the blue. Possibly, hopefully, you've come up with a few brilliant ideas or you've had quite an exciting or downright naughty time in the past seven years, but it certainly wasn't the same as any other time before. And when Uranus leaves our sign in March, that's it. <laughs> We're going into a whole new cycle, but there should be less chaos, certainly within our own personal sense of being. But... We need to take advantage of the fact that Uranus is in our sign and joining up with Mars, our ruler. Okay, it could bring up a massive argument if we've got unresolved issues. With Mars in our sign does make us a little bit more feisty than usual, a bit more bad tempered. Well, not bad tempered, but we go, Wah! you know, we are in full warrior mode. But these two joining together are going to give you a passion for life around the 12th, 13th, and, and a strong desire to do something. And all of that. Uranus energy will be filling your being. So expect, expect, expect a shock, surprise, something unusual happening. If you want to follow the path of the unusual, you may have extra va va voom to do that this week. Now, having said that, you've got to remember the importance of this is the fact that Uranus is not coming back to our sign for I think it's 77 years. We ain't gonna be around. This was a once in a lifetime, it, it, seven years, you know, and we need to make the most of that Uranus energy. You might find yourself coming in contact with somebody who's kind of crazy or, or creates a whirlwind in your life this week, or it may be that you go into someone's life and create a whirlwind of passion. It's all on you. The other thing that's happening this week on Valentine's Day, is that Mars in Aries, which we've loved, but it might, might have made us a bit out of control, um, or may, you know, might have had sort of some explosive arguments since Mars has been there. Mars is leaving our sign and going into Taurus. So it's a very different energy. The pros and the positivity connected to that are the fact that we can suddenly get very, very serious about what we want to build up. We can become very fixed, very strong, very stubborn, very obstinate, obstinate, <laughs> very uh, rah, determined and unrelenting in going after our goal. And it allows us to build foundations. So you might have had an idea, you might have been pushing forward, but it's been very difficult for you to follow through. Or you've had all this passion, but you couldn't really channel it and get stuck in. Mars in Taurus, our ruler in Taurus allows us to get stuck in and to build things. It also makes us want to do a lot of sensual things, a lot of feasting, a lot of spending a lot of time with the people that we feel are loyal and, and it's the loyal people that boost our energy and we're giving back to our loyal people when Mars is there. Anyway, let's have a little look what the tarot has in store for us Aries this week. I'm just going to shuffle. Obviously, this is general, uh, but use your intuition to see if it's right for you. Okay, Taurus, week ahead. Does the tarot have anything to offer? Aries, first card. <laughs> this is why I love doing the tarot, um, because this is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, you know, to me, that... It's a perfect illustration of who we're going to become with Mars in Earth sign Taurus. We're urged to be more practical. We are urged to think, right, what can I do with all of my practical skills to work hard towards my goal? We are transforming on an energetic level into Taurians. Um, and I know you're Aries, you love to be Aries, <laughs> but trust me, this is good because we're utilising that energy. We're taking that energy and we're doing something with it. The second card 
This card is saying to you, what you see in front of you, what you've already looked at may not be the only choices. It's really time for you to think, okay, I'm looking at what I want to achieve with new eyes. I'm not just going to think I could do this, I could do that. I'm going to do all the things I know to achieve what I want. It's saying to you, you've got to find a deeper way. And that way may involve being more practical. Are you doing all the practical things that you need to do to achieve your goal? There's, there's an opportunity to do that. You may be feeling actually a little bit insecure. It may be that Uranus is bringing up some feelings uh, of past pain or feeling like I can't make it, I can't do it, I'm not good enough. And it's really important for you to address that now and to heal that and allow yourself to know that you are good enough. There are ways for you to achieve what you want to achieve. Having said that, there may also be someone around you he, who you have to get rid of because they're not one of those loyal people. There's somebody that you know is lying to your bare face and, and, and being dishonorable. And you will find that very difficult to deal with this week. Perhaps Mars and Uranus are going to give you the final push to say what you think about a person who is not being honest and reliable and you don't want to be trapped in that situation on them anymore. It's time for you to literally build foundations and put aside all of those pressures. When we're dealing with someone that's lying and being dishonest or kind of poking our buttons, it doesn't just impact our intimate relationship with that person, it, it affects our whole being. It kind of chips away at our self-esteem. It, it, it doesn't allow us to put our full energy into anything. So if you're confronting someone, it's gonna be explosive this week, but you'll be clearing them out for good because you want this, you want the Ten of Pentacles, is a ten, yeah. the Ten of Pentacles, you want to be secure, you want to do your best, you want other people to look at you and go, yes, I know that person's going to achieve. You might spend some time this week kind of sleeping or, or recuperating in some way. Perhaps it will be on Valentine's Day that you have these revelations. Don't forget, Valentine's Day can be a very loaded time. We have certain expectations, even if we say we're not bothered. You know, if we don't, sort nothing appears or we don't uh, get what we want, it may be a sense of, oh, uh, you know. Kathy always says that the Empress always turns up in a reading. I don't know why that is, but yes, we've got the Empress again for you. Uh, and, but you know what? The, the Empress is a very kind of Taurus, Mars in Taurus energy. It's about being powerful, but not having to run around or, or do things in a, in a physically active way. It's about going, right, I am creating in a solid, steady way, and I'm enjoying myself in the process. And that's your message for the week. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.